Excuse me. I'm just uh, looking for Professor James Meditech Industries. I've got the street address, but there's a lot of small businesses around here. What do you got there? Oh, this is just a payslip for one of his employees, uh, Eugene Kim. He's actually missing. A friend of yours? A family friend. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, and also I'm uh, from the Missing Persons Unit of Metro Police. And actually I'm a true crime podcaster, <laughs> which is my real passion. <laughs> well, I don't think I can help you. Sorry. It's okay. Is there anyone else in the building who might know? Not on a Sunday. No worries. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> Thanks for your help anyway. Hey, what kind of game are you playing at? You know him, don't you? Is this a front? I don't know your doctor friend. But you do know he's a doctor. I know you think you're being smart by not saying anything, but when this all unravels, you could get done for aiding, abetting, obstructing. I'm a nobody who knows nothing and does what they're told. What are you so afraid of? This Professor James? You had better stop looking for him. Or what? Or what? Do you value your life? The lives of the people you live with, work with, live next door to. I barely know my neighbours. Then you'll forget all of this. I mean it. You have to come forward. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Okay. Hi. Hello. Do you want Sorry. Uh, it's hard to know exactly where to begin. Um, we haven't exactly met you yet. This is your mother, um, and I am well, your father. Probably knows who we are. As of course you already know. Uh, but right now, you are very, very new to us. <laughs> and we're so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you. Stop doing that. I peed on this stick. Okay, let's do another one. Why? Your yeah. stick. What's wrong with that? It was, that was good. good. But it was stick. authentic, and it, it's very important that you know exactly what a dog this guy was before he became a model dad. Holy shit. What? Dad. That's the first one I call myself a dad. How special is that? And we just got on camera and everything. You were so sweet. <laughs> Ethan, you were the sweetest. Call me daddy. <laughs> okay, now we really need to do yeah, it. Yeah, no, I heard it too. <laughs> we'll talk again soon. <laughs> uh, thanks. Thank you. Sincerely, Mum and Dad. Yeah, we need another tape. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again, future child. Um, my money's on daughter, um, but no pressure. Um, that's yeah. You can decide that whenever you want to. Um, and at any rate, gender is a social construct. So yeah, it's um three twenty two a.m. Um, and my mind is still just bubbling away. There is so much I want to tell you. Um, don't worry, your mother is a super deep sleeper. See? So, uh, yeah, she won't mind. Actually. See? Anyway, I thought it was important that you knew just how much we wanted you in our lives. I'm not gonna lie, it's being a bit rough. <laughs> um, right now, you are negative eight months old, which is probably too young to hear how babies are born. Um, I want you to imagine rolling dice. Actually, so, you're rolling dice. 
Um, and when you get a six, you get, we get a U. Um, but we're only allowed to roll once a month. Uh, and we've been rolling for a few years now. We even started seeing some dice doctors. Uh, and they say it's a perfectly good set of dice. Um, really healthy. Um, but maybe the table needs some expensive renovation. And meanwhile, every single one of our friends from uni has shared a photo of their six on Facebook. And every month the dice just gets heavier and heavier. Uh, and every roll gets more and more exhausting. Yeah. And now it's finally happened. It's just so much that could still go wrong. You're just such a fragile little idea of a person right now. Either we win the game and we advance to the world of Wisby, the advanced expansion haberdashery set, or we bid on a cursed ball of yarn and have to start over with a wizard's penalty. This would have been much clearer if I had snakes and ladders. I'll order a set. The point is, either we get to meet you or we don't. But either way, it's going to change us both permanently. And that kind of freaks me out a little. <laughs> Um, because in a weird way, these are the last words of the person I am right now. Uh, this person is very nervous, um, very happy. <laughs> Just wants you to know. And we'll be fine. So, um, technically it's your mum's turn today, um, uh, but she's working to a pretty tight deadline, so I'll help out. <laughs> Indy. Uh, my name is... Mm. My, my name is Indy. <laughs> uh, I'm a music producer, uh, which naturally gives me a air of mystery, you know, super cool. <laughs> um, oh, and I'll let you in on a little trade secret. When a song isn't working for me, I just throw in a trombone uh, and it makes it infinitely better. Um, I work with talented women uh, to help them find a voice in a male-dominated industry, which uh, makes this video very pro problematic. Um, um, I'm kind and loving. Oh, I'm such a spectacular drunk. Uh, I'll teach you a love of music and creating things, and I'll teach you to never ever trust chairs. <sighs> Not even when you get a perfectly good one for your birthday. Okay, just a quick one. I have had a bugger of a day today at school and I was just wondering how you would feel about skipping grade nine. Just going straight from age 13 to 15. So you don't have to be one of them. Or we could send you on an Antarctic exchange program. We could adopt a little penguin. You could take a year off to just figure out your hormones. I don't know, just think about it, no rush. Uh, and check it, <laughs> I bought these adorable little baby clothes on the way home from school, second hand, great deal, and I've been trying so hard not to cuddle them because they have that really, really cute baby smell. Which I'm realizing now is probably just regurgitated milk. Um, yeah, anyway, we are getting our first look at you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you soon. So, we've, uh, had a little setback. Quite a large one, actually. It's a funny thing. Not funny so much as really horrible. It's called um, a phantom pregnancy. Um, so the body has all the signs of a baby, but there's no actual... Suddenly they're saying we never rolled a six. <laughs> um, it's just with a bit of chocolate brownie on it. Even though it looks so much like a six. Your mum's asleep right now. We've been talking all night. Don't worry, we're, we're gonna try again. Um, and someday when you're old enough, you're gonna watch this and know exactly what we went through to bring you into this world and how loved you are, and how wanted, and worth anything. 
even this, this really awful feeling. Heya. So, it has been a pretty interesting few months. <laughs> we got a worm farm. Um, but I guess the other big, scary, exciting news is uh, we also started IVF. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, we're, we're kind of going okay right now, except for when we're not. Kind of go through these little insanity bubbles. <laughs> uh, you know, should we move? Can we move? Iceland's a bit far. My cousin's pregnant. How wonderful. How selfish of her. Five dollars. <laughs> We're out of here. Okay. Yep. Love you. Hi. Who is that? Molly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Capturing some candid everyday moments of domestic life. Just act normal and candid. I could watch that all day. What did Molly have to say? You just caught up. Ah, secrets, huh? You don't have to tell me. That's between you guys and your journal. They've got to be me, Journal Mum Gotcha. You're still using that, right? With the sassy gold lettering. Hmm. It's bolstering up that broken table. What? N no! No! Hey, kiddo. So, your mum is a couple of days late, and I've been trying not to think about that all day. Because either I'm coming home to good news, or... I'll see you on the other side. So I came home to find my copy of Snakes and Ladders. Yay. Except it's a bit harder to explain now that we're paying thousands of dollars for other people to roll the dice for us. And player one has to inject herself in the stomach every day. Player two just has to stand around being supportive. <laughs> I like that helps. I guess this metaphor is getting away from me a bit. But then again, so are you. Don't really know who I'm talking to anymore. Wish I could sleep like your mother. At least she gets a few hours escape every night. Nighty night. There was a bird doing a song just now. Um, it's stopped, always happens. <laughs> uh, it sounded like Call Me Maybe. Uh, anyway, it's been a really nice few weeks. We took a month of fertility treatment and booked a B&B up the coast. <sighs> just feel like I can breathe again. <gasps> oh, are you done? Almost done. Done. You're worse than my niece. I swear the women in your family are made of steel. <laughs> We've been walking and swimming and talking and just living in the moment, getting away from all the toxic what ifs. I haven't seen Indy this happy in months. We, we also have been reading a lot. Um, we met this couple who gave us this really brilliant book. <laughs> it's um, had a line in it that really resonated. It's, it's not what a family looks like, it's how it feels. I mean, it sounds better in context, but it got us talking about why we wanted you in the first place. You know, what your mum and I have now, it, it already feels like a family. And if you come along someday and join us, that's great. But in the meantime, we're just gonna live in the moment and be the best we can be. It also has this really interesting theory there actually is a better version of yourself up there. You know, an extra level of consciousness that we're just not attuned to hearing. So 
whoever you are, maybe you're not a future child. Maybe you're actually just a better version of me, connecting through time with who you used to be. <laughs> whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you for listening. I love you. <laughs> Can't wait to meet you. Your dad is going to walk through that door any minute now. <laughs>